Good morning everyone. It is a grey morning here, which means it's not too hot, which is nice. Um, we are in the town of what? Oh, future Chris here. That was the point. My phone died again, uh, despite allegedly having a 100% charge. Um, I plugged it into the battery and it took three hours to come back to life. Fortunately, uh, a friend of mine lent me their phone, uh, though their phone had no storage. so. We were kind of frantically deleting photos and videos they didn't need so that I could record what you're about to see. So say thank you uh, to them, um, because without them you would have missed out on today. My phone came back to life about halfway through uh, what you're about to see. So, uh, and obviously it's back working now, but um, I need to go and talk to some people in Lima to get it fixed. So enjoy uh, the temples that we went to see this afternoon. <laughs> This is a Peruvian hairless dog. It looks really, really, really weird, and it feels really, really, really weird. Mojitos. No, wait, that's a drink. They were called the Mocha? Moche. Um, and that whole bit down there was their town, and that thing was one big temple, and we're standing on the other temple they built their city between the two, um, between 100 and 600 AD, um, 100 and 800 AD, and then in 600 AD, there was a really strong La Nina, and this part of Peru it doesn't really rain except during La Nina. And it rains so much that uh, here in this temple they sacrificed a hundred people, they found the skeletons when they excavated it, but the rain didn't stop and the city unfortunately got wiped out. Uh, so this temple fell into disrepair and that other one on the other side uh, got uh, more powerful for 200 years than they were moved to the, uh, the other place that we saw this morning. Really well preserved. So after 800 they abandoned this part of their city, went to the place that we saw this morning and they're called the Chima after that, um, just for 
convenience, I think. Um, and they lasted till 1400 when the Incas turned up. Uh, the Incas are from the south of Peru and from the highlands. And so the Incas basically conquered the Chima. The Chima weren't very happy about it, so they prayed to their god and said, get rid of the Incas. Um, and in Chima, the god is uh, associated with the ocean. And uh, lo and behold, 60 years later, who turns up out of the ocean but the Spanish. Uh, the Spanish aren't very popular in the south of Peru because that's the old Inca heartlands. So we're going there later on this trip and we'll see it for ourselves. But uh, they're seen as conquerors and looters down there. Here in the north, they're kind of seen as liberators because they uh, got rid of the Incas. Um, so yeah, interesting history. Well, interesting for me. You guys might be considering hanging yourselves at this point, but uh, tough. Why that temple looks like it melted, it's because they used mud bricks and over time with the rain from La Nina when it happens, that's exactly what happened. The temple has kind of melted. by budget cuts. Now to see the rest of the town, this is clearly the posher bit of uh, the place we're staying. It's kind of divided in two buildings across the street. Um, I'm not allowed to stay here. I'm not posh enough.
arrived back at the hostel, dinner was lovely. Turns out there's a wedding happening here in the youth hostel. The party is supposed to go on till midnight. We'll see what Peruvians are like with their parties, whether it finishes on time. It does give me enough time to edit some videos, which is a good thing. So, I'm really not that. Tomorrow morning, I'm responsible for breakfast with three of my colleagues, one of whom is pretty smashed, the other is on the way there. So there might be just two of us again tomorrow uh, when we're doing the breakfast. So uh, it's called a rolling breakfast because we're doing it while we drive. Um, so it means I've got to be up and ready and at the truck at 6.30, which means getting up at about 6, maybe 5.45. So uh, that's something to look forward to. I'm going to go and edit a video. I will see you in the morning. Good night.